Welcome to the section on erosion control. In this section, we will focus mostly on the context of erosion on and around the abutment. The learning objectives for this module are to first, understand the main erosion concerns, second, apply prescriptive measures to mitigate erosion concerns, and third, analyze your site for the possibility of severe erosion concerns that may necessitate consultation with an expert. We'll start with the drainage crown. The drainage crown is a technique for flat approach ramps and ramps with high transverse slopes. Standing water on the approach towers or walkway will degrade materials through the freeze thaw and other processes. Current standards for roadway drainage are usually between 1 and 3% slopes. From this and experience in the field, we have developed a prescriptive solution for drainage off the approach ramp at a 2% slope. If you do the math, 0 0.02 times 1.5 is equal to 3 meters. Remember we're using, or, or sorry, 3 centimeters. Remember we're using half the ramp width, which is a 13 centimeter crown uh, to the ramp wall. And I've shown this in a section view, how the edges of the ramp cap will be 10 centimeters going up to 13 centimeters in the middle, and this will help water drain off either side. For steep transverse slopes, it may be more advantageous to provide a continuous slope of 2% over the entire approach ramp, or 0 0.02 times 3, which is 6 centimeters, giving us a 16 centimeter thick to set 10 centimeter thick uh, ramp cap. And the way I've drawn this is actually using a difference in the size of the ramp walls. Both are options you can use. Uh, and it would save materials, a little bit of material and concrete or cement rather, to do the way I've drawn it here versus a 16 centimeter thick uh, ramp cap. In the next section, I'm going to talk about surface runoff. 